Alright Paramount fans, I'm going to do a quick video tonight on how to um, make some side art. Do side blades for your pinball table. Um, I just pick one, it's uh, called Shadow. I'm going to make some blades for it right quick. So basically all you just do, you can Google pinball s side art blades, whatever table, Shadow, Images, and then we're going to use these right here. Just click on it, right click save image all right take a second from our photoshop to open up but basically you need a some kind of photoshop program or something you can manipulate the images all right then we're gonna erase some stuff here we use a magic eraser part looks all right erase this other stuff you can double click and add a stroke to see if we missed anything you can clean it up if you want but it'll be at the bottom of the image so you won't really see it anyway all right then I like to take the clone tool and kind of clone this side. Just to fill it in a little bit. Doesn't have to look perfect, but you get the idea. You can always do the paint tool, however you want to do it. Fade in. Smear this in a little bit. Do a little painting. 
Like I said, once it's in the image, it ain't got to be perfect. You, you'll see. All right, we're just trying to fill this in. Pretty good. Zoom out. All right. I'm gonna leave with that. So we're gonna file. We're gonna save that. And then you're gonna need to upscale it to something. You can do uh, a website, or there's plenty of upscaling tools. Alright, so now that we've upscaled it, now I want to open up my pinball files, and this is what a, uh, one of my side images. I'll include this, I'll give you the um, 3D image for the table and I'll give you a copy of the side blade that way you can just use the one that I have and then basically you're just gonna drag and drop the image over top of it you can size it see what it looks like Drag this one out. I'm gonna make the other blade. You could just copy it and make a like a mirror image of it, but either way, this works. All right, I'm gonna place. Erase any extra stuff. Do, do, do. Um, delete the original. So now we just have these left. So we're gonna file. I'm gonna save this. Just gonna save this as. Sidewall. Um, this was just called shadow, so I'm just going to put sidewall S. Save it. Now I include my. Um, I'll include the sidewall objective, so I'm going to show you how to add it. So it's just hit open up shadow. And close everything out on a table. I don't like look, looking at the image here. Let's see. We need to get a view that's got side rails. So here we can see the side rails. Alright, and basically what you want to do, you want to insert a primitive and click this. You're going to hit import mesh. You're going to import the sidewalls. Hit import. Alright, you're going to go to physics, make it a toy. Position, you're going to make it one all the way down to start with. Z is usually I start out about 50. 
and then the um, rotation and we're going to make it 89 not quite 90 degrees but you'll see all right it's going to flip this out as you can see this is a little bit too wide I can already tell we're going to try to line it up and then we're going to shrink it in so Z let's do point nine five point nine see where it's at. Alright, we'll go one. Alright, point nine one's probably good. Y we're gonna leave Y is basically how tall they are. Usually one's good. X we're gonna shrink that in. Point nine, see what that looks like. That's uh, pretty close. Maybe just a hair more go eighty nine. Alright. So now we're gonna go to visuals. You wanna uncheck static. You wanna go to material you want to go to plastic with an image then we want to insert our new image to so go uh, to ins uh, table image manager import sidewall s and we're going to find that over here in our image sidewall s and then we're going to fire the table up and see where it's at. Alright, so first thing I want to do is put this in window mode so I can make us a new view. So I'm going to go down, go over twice, hit it. Alright, so now we're going to try to make this out. We're looking pretty good already. Let's make this up to where it looks a little better. Probably about 105.3. That looks pretty good. We're going to bring this up. About four and a half, five. We'll just say, we'll say five, three. That's about it. It looks pretty. It looks pretty good. I might go out just a just a hair. Let's shrink this up so we can get the cards in. That's it. It's looking pretty good. Let's hit start to save that. Turn that off. And that's pretty much it. There's side blades and I think that matches pretty good. If you wanted to match the color a little bit better on that back glass, you could adjust the color a little bit in um, uh, Photoshop or whatever you're using. But that's not bad. Uh, we can, sh if I see the blade on the right side, it's a little bit almost on top of the um, level. So we'll we'll move that over just a little bit. So basically, we're going to make it it's a little bit wider. So we're going to go to position. We're going to do 90.9. That'll scoot that over just a little bit, and then I can move this side over. Let's see what that looks like. It's probably about perfect. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. Um, I could even raise those up a little bit if you wanted to, just so you could see the bottom of the buildings a little better. Let's see what they look like in the image. And uh, that's kind of how they look, and I don't really see the bottom. Let's just go up a little bit to see what it looks like here. About right. Yeah, that's about right. Alright. Hope that helps you guys out. Let me know what you think. If you got any questions. Um, 
And that's it. Let's just sh put shadow blades on shadow. Just like that. So then you just want to file, save your table. Uh, I'll do one other thing. If you want to um, put these in a script where you want to turn them on and off, I'll add this also. Let's, uh, let's see, new, new POV. So basically what you would want to do, you would want to name your primitive. You want to name it uh, pin cab score blades, just like that. Then you want to open the script up. You want to add the constant blade art at the top. Copy. Just add it with the rest of them. Paste. Alright. Then you want to copy all of this. Copy. You want to go down right below the initiate. We'll just put it down here. Paste. Now remember our blade art was called Sidewalls um, S. And that should be it. Hit File, Save. Let's check make sure they work. Alright, there they are. I open your script up. You can check it at the top. Make sure you can turn them off. So I have two for off. Hit Start. There you go. Turns them off. Let's put that back on. File, save my table. And just like that, that's Side Blades on Shadow. Hope it helps you guys out. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll put a little link below for the um, Sidewalls primitive, and I'll add in a image too. And, um, yeah, there you go. Till next time, guys, have a good one.